don't know. I feel like it's easier to transition to do more shit at once if you're like already doing a lot of shit. Huh. I guess. <coughs> so what? Chad's yeah. foregating? Yeah. But you don't know Chad's foregating. Okay. Not like Moomin, who <laughs> got a roach one at 70. <laughs> at like 16. Standard. I honestly, I'm gonna say this going into this, I don't think this is possible to stop. I really don't. Shut up. I don't. I'm gonna be amazed if you can do it. If I can try? I, I don't think you should, um, uh, or actually I can't say that. Strikeful says that he goes like Roach Ling to stop for a warp gate, but I usually get spine crawlers. I think that spine crawlers are really good on maps like uh, Lost Temple, not Shattered Temple. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's definitely way harder in this map. map. Yeah. Well, like I don't know if I would even say harder so much as not possible, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Defensive counters are always much slower to find out than the offensive ones. Yeah, the thing is with War Warp Gate, if if you stop it and you have your expo up, you win. Like you, definitely. You over oh yeah, no, I definitely know that, and I have no problem dropping even if it takes fucking fifteen spine crawlers to do it. I know that if you stop Four Gate, um, you, you pretty much it's a hundred percent win. You got the you can drone as soon as they pull off, and the Protoss just can't get back into the game. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. This is interesting. Are you actually gonna block my expansion when you're forward gating? Uh, I would normally. <laughs> I'd at least set the probe down there. You guys are at like the same APU? I'm having to move my probe ground. <laughs> I'm smoking, that's the only reason I have the same AP ammo. <laughs> nice. Wow. That's so mean. Well, this is good. I'm glad to hear Cats talk about it. So when Chad starts to BM people, it's not just because he plays games with me. I know it comes from other people, too. Yeah. yeah. Root. root. It comes from Root. <laughs> Manor. Yeah, man Manor up, kid. <laughs> Oh, freaking Truby. <laughs> what? We're not talking about it. Manor. <laughs> okay, freaking Flash. <laughs> I thought about making an account just to, like, BM on, but then I realized that I already BM on Destiny, so there's no reason to make another account. I thought this was the, that account. <laughs> yeah. And then you just... I'll make, a se I'll make a secret account to Manor. I'll make a Manor Smurf. I mean, totally... Pretty funny. <laughs> Who's that kid? Oh, There's no way that's Chad, Destiny. That kid offered Chad. to help with my homework after that game. He was the nicest guy I've ever played against. Chad. Chad. There's nothing wrong with that pylon. It's perfect. Chad. It's perfect. We talked about this. I know, we talked about it and I said it was perfect. So many times. You cannot tell me that's not perfect. Chad. I can, and I will. Chad. It's perfect. Just like two spaces over. <laughs> But I like it there. I do. Why, Chad? No, no, it makes me happy. Oh, Chad. Then, like, move your pylon two spaces <laughs> the other one, like, two spaces up or something. It's killing me, especially if you're gonna put the second pylon there. I'm sorry, man, but it's perfect there. Chad, I hate your your aesthetical reasoning for your Starcraft strategy. This is cats. Sorry? What you're seeing right now is the biggest reason why I hate this four gate that comes from Chad. Once I see two sentries, I'm like 99% that my opponent is three gate uh, expoing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would be, I would be droning. That's why I'm doing that. Yeah, and then what? And then yeah, he's gonna put a, he puts a pylon down at the bottom of his ramp before he pushes too. Ah, this four gate is yeah, such I, a mind fuck, dude. I taught him to do that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like especially after yeah. seeing, oh man, the two fucking. Sentries and the zealot. I'm like 90. I'm, I you know mean he actually doing. listens to you about pylon placement. <laughs> uh, I don't talk about pylon placement with him. <laughs> oh, I know it's a it's a, nightmare. it's a hopeless cause. It's a nightmare. Yeah, I don't think he can stop this without scouting it. 
Well, but I mean, you can't. Well, no, I mean, at this out. point, now you know you can make spines and lings. You see them moving out, I mean. Yeah, yeah and I have no road warrant. Okay, okay now, now I know he's being aggressive. Definitely. Well, I would assume he was being aggressive as soon as you saw the uh, zealots and the sentries move out with that probe in the group. I don't know. Oh, they, they, they can just kind of do that sometimes. Though. Yeah. Better to be safe than sorry? I don't know. It seems like the way this strategy goes, after he's got uh, one more group of units warped in, there's just no possible way that you can win. The game seems to be like it's over. Maybe. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That's because chat doesn't bend his force build too early. Fuck. Chat. Micro. I am micro. micro. You micro. I like how you only let that one stalker get hit the entire time. It was pretty cute. I love the Korean foregate so much more because there are no sentries, and I feel like if you mass enough lings, you can easily fuck any stalker zealot combo. But these sentries make it yeah. impossible to engage. You just can't fucking do anything to that ball. You can't touch it. Ah, oh, it's so infuriating. I know you can't get to the zealots at all. They're so protected behind those stalkers. <laughs> K4, you can at least attack the zealots. Oh, Chad. Are you gonna give me a perfect game again, or are you gonna lose that stalker? Probably gonna lose it. So the units lost Cap Thunder, bro. You should be proud to check. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know how to stop this. I don't know, dude. I like hardcore theory crafting. I, I wanted to warm up with Chad before this land I went to so that I could just brush up on my foregate and then we ran into this and I, <laughs> I like played it like eleven games in a row. I had no idea how to do it. You could you could, you could just give out your expo, I guess, and and get, get like Burrow in your main, that would be okay. You really think that would be okay? You'd be on an even? Yeah, yeah that's fine. If, if, if you get better, like, like faster tech. Yeah, yeah I think that's probably, probably the best answer. Giving up your expan- I don't know, I feel like if I give up my expansion and then he expands, once the Protoss is camping the bottom of your ramp with force fields, you can't move out ever. Like, there's no way you can ever leave your base, you know? Well, you can use hunting stone cloth. Like I'm saying, like you you can you can go like one base, burrow roaches, and uh, then he has to commit even more to one base because he needs a robotic facility right away. What if the Protoss just decides to expand or kill you? Then they they die to the burrow roaches. You really could you couldn't they kill you? I be I mean if you're not I'm kind of putting you on the spot but you want could you try a game of it I'm just kind of curious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't they just base trade you if you tried that? No. Why? Because <coughs> he would have spike rollers in your main. He can't. Yeah. The Protoss when the Protoss four gates he can never lose his whole army. The Protoss loses his whole army after this like by trying to push your main. I think that the then the Protoss loses the game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean I'd be it just um. It'd be nice to have an easy answer like that. A lot of the times, I, f I like I can survive four gates. Like fuck, I've survived four gates from Dodoro before, but it's just stalker zealot, you know. But once the sentries roll out, what? Oh uh, shit! Uh, you almost made me like die. What happened? I was drinking something. I almost spit it off. Why is Dodoro really bad at, at four gating? No, it's just that we almost we always make fun of him for four gating, and uh, 
doesn't, he doesn't really forget that often. Oh. We always call him a cheeser and like a forgator. Nice. <laughs> well, no, but I mean, I don't know. I played games against him before, and I remember him doing some hardcore ones. And it's always this big back and forth when they do the stalker zealot thing. But when Protosses use uh, sentries, it seems like I don't know. Uh, fuck! It just seems so much more. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've said for a long time, or I've always felt for a long time, that Protosses were really bad at force fielding. Um, like, they just didn't use it enough. It's so, 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 so powerful. Like, I feel like it's, um, I don't know how much Brood War you played, but it's kind of like having Stasis Field, um, like, right away, like, at Tier 1. And, I mean, if used correctly, it's so baller. Um, and I think Chad uses it really, 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 really well. Yeah, yeah Chad's micro is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say micro, but <laughs> just... I, I keep my zealots protected. His brain is his brain functions at a high enough level to realize that force field is fucking insane. So that if he can get a lot of it earlier, I don't know. No, his force fields are, are really like really good. Like they're always money. No, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely.